Yo, what's good guys? My name's XV. Today, I'm going to be showing you the best recording settings for OBS. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my recent uploads. They're doing very well. And also, thank you for 6.5k subs. I really appreciate it. Anyways, fat photo ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so first of all, I use OBS. Uh, 27.13. Uh, I think this is the most update in like recent versions. So for the settings, um, I tend to film like my game stuff in like 120 FPS, and because when I edit it, it's just a lot more smoother and I can slow it down a lot more. So if we head on over to the settings icon here, everything in the general tab is completely default settings. Uh, I haven't touched anything like this, so just keep these the same. Stream, I won't be going over these for today because uh, this is a recording video. If you want me to go over stream settings, then just make sure to leave a comment and I'll try and make one as soon as possible. So if we head on over to output, uh, as you can see, streaming options are right here. I'm just going to turn it off because we're obviously not using streaming today. Now, if you do not see this, um, you want to click on here and change it from like simple, I think, to advanced. The reason everything's greyed out is because I'm currently filming, as you can see. So. I won't be able to change anything, however I can still show you my settings. So if you come over to recording path, this is a path where your final video will save or your game clip. Uh, I just have mine on another drive under the folder named recordings and OBS studio and then all my captures and clips saved to there. Uh, recording format, I use mp4 uh, and audio track, this just depends on how many tracks you want it to record. I currently have one as my desktop audio and two as my microphone. So if you want to record your microphone and your game, make sure you enable two of these. For encoder, I use NVIDIA NVANC. Now I have a NVIDIA 2070, so this setting will only pop up if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. I have the scale on 1920 by 1080 If your monitor is 2K, for example, you might want to change it to 2K or just change it to the highest you can. For rate control, I use CBR and then for the bitrate, I use 80,000 kilobytes. Keyframe interval I use 2 and for the preset I have it on max quality. This is what gives you the best quality, same with the bitrate. GPU I've set to 0 and max B frames 0. Make sure this is 0 otherwise it will skip, I think it's 2 frames so yeah make sure it's on um, 0. Moving on to the audio tab, um, I have my desktop audio as my Blue Yeti speakers and then for the microphone I also have my Blue Yeti. I only have this because I have a headphone jack on my Blue Yeti so yeah you can change it to whatever you want and what suits you but that's just what I have. I think all of this has stayed the same so keep them how they are. If you go over to the video tab this is where you can customise your um, resolution and what FPS you'd like to film in. Make sure these are the highest resolution as this is what gives you the quality. Uh, the downscale filter, I use bilinear, fast, blurry if scaling. And then click on this and change this to a fractional FPS value. This will allow you to change what FPS you're filming your footage in. So if you want to film in 120 FPS, change your numerator to 120. However, if you do want to use default FPS values that OBS provides you with, click on here and change it to normal, I think it is and then you can change it to whatever one you want. Moving on to hotkeys, this is just completely up to you. And heading over to the advanced section, I have my process priority to normal, and then render on direct 11, color format NV12, color space 709, and then color range full. I think all the settings below here are the same, so just keep them how they are. And yeah, that is pretty much it for all my settings. Also, if you're having problems uh, while in game and you've got this open, if you right click on here and turn the preview off, this will um, minimise OBS GPU usage so it won't use as much GPU and it will lead better FPS in games. That was a very quick tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you have any more questions feel free to comment down below, please don't forget to like, subscribe and see you in the next one.